stormy night. Fisherman Joe. Oh, I, but not as big a catch as you would be, my girl. Oh, get away with you, Joe. Hey, Kate, where's our drugs of here? Now, just you keep your hair on, Jack. <laughs> How about a song, Kate? Yeah, yeah. give us a song. Yeah, give us a song. If you're feeling low, I know a place where you should go. Down at the Jamaica Inn, we like to make a dip. Bill on piano and Fred on the drums Who won't just sit and twiddle your thumbs Come down to the jam maker in We'll always make you grin We're a friendly crew and no mistake You'll be scoffing back sandwiches, biscuits and cake Down at the jam maker in La 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 And a fun la 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 Oh diddly 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 Down to the tra la 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 With a bottle of grog you can bring your dog, have a plate of poi and a smack in the eye A real good laugh with Jim the giraffe And a bed for the night and a bit of a fright Now you just try and sip this, lovey. It'll perk you up. Oh, thank you. You're really most kind. But please do get back to your customers. I'm sure I'll be all right. Don't you worry, none. You've had a nasty turn. Yes, it is true. I'm lucky to be alive. So tell me. How on earth did you find yourself wandering alone, bracing the elements on such a night as this? It was yesterday afternoon. My father and I had begun our long journey to pastures new. He had decided there was more to life than making cotton reels for a living, and we were going to set up in business as self-defence experts to the gentry. After all, I was a champion wrestler in our village. It was as we turned onto the high cliff road that we were set upon by a fearsome gang of cutthroats. They knocked my poor dear father out and then turned their attentions on me. Somehow I managed to fend them off. You do surprise me. Those horrid creatures then stole our little cart, taking all that we possessed in the world. I then struggled on until I came across your village, and thankfully you found me. All right. I, I think you should try and get some rest. Rest? I cannot. Not whilst my beloved father lies somewhere unknown. Now don't raise your hopes, but I have some friends who just may be able to help. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today back in the cellar again. I've called you all here because there might be a task for the Jolly Rogers. Mm. I say. Now, if you will all just gather round, Helen will recount her tale. My father and I were driving along the coast road when a gang of thieves set upon us. And so I summoned all of you. 
Well, that sounds as if a wrong must be righted, and we're the very jobs for the lad. I mean, lads for the job. Oh, but old fast, Captain. How do we know this isn't a trap to capture the Jolly Rogers? A good jack point. Uh, I mean, point jack. But I say we've nothing to lose if we set a trap of our own and see who drops into it. Hey, but what meanst thou, Captain? Well, this is what I have in mind. Later that day on the Coast Road. I hope they attack soon. I feel a ripe fool dressed up as a man. Really? I find these women's clothes rather comfortable. Your money or your life? Oh, yeah. Says who? Uh, says me. Uh, and my man. Your, your money, money or, your, or life. your life? Life. Not on your Nelly. And not on my Nelly either. Oh, no. Not again. I bet you didn't reckon on this. I bet you didn't reckon on this. Come on, men. Don't let them get away. We, we surrender. surrender! Right, you mangy bunch. Who are you and which leader is the one? I, I mean, which one is the leader? What's your name? Repulsive Raymond, she. And yours? Animal Annabelle. Yours? Ta, 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 terrible Tina. And you? Well, um, actually, it's not very nice, Nigel. (laughs) (laughs) What kind of name is that? It's not a very nice name because I'm not a very nice person. And anyway, the captain ran out of adjectives. Aha! The captain, eh? So, who is this captain of yours? Captain Vicious Vicky Vile. Oh, not me, Vicious Vicky Vile. So who's Captain Vicious Vicky Vile when she's at home? I don't know. I've never heard of her. Then why on earth did you react like that? It seemed appropriate. Cut it out, you two. Now, where can we find this evil captain? Our ship is moored on the other side of the headland, she. Okay, crew, time up. Then it's back to the conflab for a minute in. I mean, in for a conflab. So, this Captain Vicious Vicky Vile and her ship are moored round the other side of the headland with booty from Helen and her father and I don't know how many others. No doubt armed to the cannon with a dozen teeth. Um, teeth with a dozen cannon. Only two, actually. At least two cannon and she must have a good fifteen men. That's ten men. A good ten men just waiting for us to show up so that she can blast us out the water. Ah, yes, but don't forget... She doesn't know we have captured some of her men yet. Good point. Shut up, will you, Nigel? So, why don't we disguise ourselves as her men, row out to her ship, and slip aboard without her suspecting anything? You can borrow our boat if you like. Next, you'll be telling him where we've hidden it. Uh, where have we hidden it? Behind the big bush. On the foreshore, oh, oh, damn. Ooh, if we're going to have to dress up again, I can put on a rather special evening gown I've just made. No, you can't. I say we meet on the nightfall at foreshore. I mean, foreshore at nightfall. And I say, OK. Later that night. I say, is anyone about? And I say, yes, there is. Oh, you gave me a start there, Grocer. Are you the first? No. Really? Where are the others? They're not here yet. But you just said that you weren't the first. I'm not. Well, who else is here? You are. Grocer, I'm beginning to get cross. All right. Is everyone here? I certainly don't think Grocer's all here. Nothing unusual about that. Do have some compassion, my dear Kate. I think I've found their skiff. It's over here. OK, crew, let's go. Captain Vicky Voyle's ship, the rancid radish. Yo, ho, ho, and a plate of beef. This is a life for a pirate thief. <laughs> Hi, little hum and a bottle of grog. This is a life for a pirate dog. I don't think I've 
ever heard that song before? Ah, shut your cackling. You're worse than me old ma'am, and you know what I did when I got sick to the back teeth of her constant belly aching. Do this, do that, and brush your teeth, comb your hair. Is your underwear clean? No, I don't. I crept up behind her when she was asleep and tied a big rope around her neck and the other end round the bedpost. Then I pushed her out the window. Uh, Didn't you walk the plank? I, I, I thought that's what pirates are supposed to do. Well, I didn't have me pirate ship at the time. I was only five. It's us. Uh, it's us. We've returned with some booty more. I mean, more booty. Is it animal? Oui, it is I, Animal Annabelle. Me and the lads have got a bootload of stuff for the captain. Okay. It's come aboard. Right, lads. Up you go and try to act natural till we're all aboard. What on earth do you think you're up to, you idiot? You'll be slaughtered looking like that. I think not, Kate. Besides my sword, I have hidden a secret weapon. Well, I suppose it's too late to change now. Up you go, you big girl's blouse. Where is everybody? Shall I wake them up by ringing this bell? No, I should not do that, my dear grocer. Thou'st surely remembers. Surprise is the best strategy. Okay then. Now we're for it. We few, we happy few. We band of swashbucklers. For he who sheds his blood with me shall be my one mother, a uh, uh, brother. One for all, and all for one. Once more unto the breach, dear friends, once more. It is a far, far better thing. Higgledy piggledy, my fat hen, she lays eggs for gentlemen. Ah. Oh. 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 What the flotsam and jetsam be going on up there? If there's anything missing, even one little pearl, when I get back, I'll hoist your gizzards to the mainsail. Did I not tell you that my mother was the greatest swordswoman in all the land? Lovers, take that! Ha-ha. I'll split your broken with a leather metal sheet. So be it! Ha ha! Now you lives look menly. I mean, now you men look lively and tie these bounders up. I'm going to below to see if I can find the booty. I gives up. Uh, my dear chap, I'm so frightfully sorry. I, I was expecting someone else. Think nothing of it. Back at the end. How can we thank you all enough? Not only have you reunited me with my father, but you have also retrieved all our belongings, which will make it possible for us to continue to pursue our dream of... Think nothing of it, my dear. It's all in a work's day, a uh, day's work for the Jolly Rogers. But what reward do you all get for risking your lives for us? Our reward is to see you folks happy again. Also, 
There was a small token of appreciation for handing over the captain and her men to the authorities. <laughs> I propose a toast to Helen and her father. No, I propose a toast to the Jolly Rogers. For, for without their gallant endeavours, we should not be sitting here today. To the Jolly Rogers! The end.